Hey everybody, welcome back to Trap in the Mitten. Uh, gosh, what an exciting time here. I got a package from Banks End, Saskatchewan. Now, I'm sure most of the people who are watching this already know who lives in Banks End, Saskatchewan, but for those of you that don't, that is where Dwayne Lazar lives, the triple nickel trapper. Now, I've been... Uh, friends, acquaintances, whatever you want to call it, with Dwayne for, uh, gosh, almost four years now. And uh, we've communicated by email and uh, through YouTube and whatnot, Facebook. Uh, anyway, he sent me a little package, and I'm excited to open it. Uh, he made a joke the other day about uh, how do you keep a trapper from the mitten in suspense. I, uh, I honestly don't know what's in this package. I mean, I know one thing that's in there, but the rest of it is going to be all new to me. So here we go. Okay, I took the liberty of cutting the box only because uh, I knew there was no way I could do it one-handed. And actually, I'd like to set this camera up, but I forgot my tripod. Uh, I might try to set it up real quick, but here we go. We're going to take a quick uh, a peek. Oh, I see what he's talking about here. Hmm, I knew one of these, I think it was this one, was in here, but the other one is going to be a surprise. Let me try to set this camera up. Okay, hopefully that works. I don't know how well you can see me or whatever, but it looks okay on the camera. So, we have here not one, but two Saskatchewan yellow dogs, big old coyotes. We got some uh, other stuff in here. All right, we got Dwayne. Holy moly. Look at that. Um, it's a sticker. Dwayne, is, is that what I think it is? Is that the crown? I That would be awesome, man. That would be great if that was the crown. All right, we got the snare. This is the snare that actually caught the coyote that he sent me. Tell me that's not cool. This is the actual snare that caught that coyote, and I'm telling you, this is the other for the other dog. Um, that's awesome. So what do we have here? We have, hello, brother John of the Mitten. I'm sorry for taking so long. Um, got the furs out. But the heat floors me. Absolutely, brother. Me too. I can't stand the heat. You'll notice I put a dog, uh, number 75 and 71. I knew I was getting 75. Um, oh, the Rex snare is from 71. And he sent a new Wolfmaster. You didn't need to do that, buddy, but thank you. Absolutely. He says, I really hope you love your fur and I'll talk to you soon. Keep moving forward. That's amazing. Dwayne, you're the best. Let me check this out. Let's see here. This has got to be 71. Oh, look at that ear. You can already... Unbelievable. It wasn't an ear, by the way. I'm sorry. It was a leg. Look at that. Man, whoever tanned these did a nice job. I mean, he's a little misshapen, but that's easy to fix. Oh, man. Look at that dog. That's a monster. That is a big dog. Look at this. That is beautiful. Look at the guard hairs on those things. It's just, these Canadian dogs are ridiculously huge. Just amazing. Let's check out this other one. 
Oh man, another beaut. A little darker. Again, look at those guard ears, man. Just unbelievable. Let's get up by his neck where you can really see him. Oh yeah, this one turned out way better. What a beaut. Proud owner of a huge dog. Nice little black tip. This is a big dog. There you go. You even got the stamp from the furrier. For any of you Canadian customs officials that are looking, yes, these dogs are tanned. Can't ship a dog or anything for that matter from Canada to the United States without having it tanned. Look at how wide this thing is. I mean, that that is a big dog. Dwayne, you're the best. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hang this up in the, well, right now it's just my room, but um, working on something. I guess I can stand back. I'm working on something to uh, to have for a fur shed more, uh, more of a hangout than just a uh, workspace, so. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Trappy the Mitten. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm almost to 500. I'll be there real soon. So I'm hoping anyway. Um, I wanted to be at 500 before the end of trapping season, but it looks like if things go well, I'll be at 500 before the beginning of trapping season. So that's awesome. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Hey, Keep watching those shorts, too. I appreciate it if you like all them. Uh, those deer or something else. I love watching those deer. But please like those shorts I've been putting up. I've been trying to put up one a day. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.